All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Houston Rockets video, and before I get into this, I actually want to say really quickly, uh, first off, thank you guys for the continued support, but um, I want to make this month a little bit interesting. I'm going to try my hardest to post 100 videos starting right now before January 1st, 2022. So if you guys like Rockets content, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But tonight I want to talk about Garrison Matthews. Garrison's that type of player where when I make my Rocket recap videos, I have to like actually limit myself and tell myself in the back of my head, like keep it under like two minutes. Because if I get over like that threshold, if I'm not if I'm not aware of myself, I, I can rant. It's not a rant, but it like like it's more of praise. I could talk about Garrison Matthews for like two and a half hours. I mean, this guy's a stud. He's a country boy. He was getting called Gary Bird last night. I mean, what is not to love about Garrison Matthews? He's got some crazy tattoos as well. He plays with so much heart. He plays with so much intensity. And it's crazy, man. He's only like 25 years old. He's about to turn 26 in... I have it right here, actually. What is it? This... Oh, wait, no. He just turned 25. So he's, getting... he's not turning 26 until October 26. I thought this said December 26. And the answer was October 24th. So... Um, I got two things wrong there, but Garrison, he's averaging 12 and a half points for this Rockets team right now. And it, it's really specifically been the last seven games where Garrison has completely gone off of the rails. I mean, just at, in the season as a whole, he's averaging, like, a, like I just mentioned, 12 and a half points per game, uh, but he's also shooting 47% from the field. And he's more impressively, he's shooting 40% from downtown and a huge issue that the Rockets had last year that I think like I was surprised I think all of us were kind of surprised that the Rockets it was almost like all of a sudden it was almost as if like when James Harden left the Rockets but it's been happening for the last couple of years a couple of years ago the Rockets had you know every sharpshooter not every sharpshooter in the league but almost every Rocket player on the roster could knock down an open three and it's changing. It's just becoming less consistent, less and less consistent for this Rockets team right now. I mean, KPJ struggling from downtown this season. Jalen Green struggling from downtown this season. Christian Wood struggling. The good news is Christian Wood's starting to improve from downtown and KPJ and Jalen Green, hopefully when they come back from injuries, they've had some time to look back on their games figure out how they can improve kind of similarly to kpj right before he went down with another quad injury he said he looked back at some film broke it down said hey i'm not playing how i should be playing let me get back to it and bang he started just going off for at least 15 every single night he was averaging like nine assists per game in that little stretch but Garrison Matthews has provided just excellent floor spacing. And it, it, like I said, it, it's really particularly been on this winning streak. It's almost as if when Jalen Green got injured and when Daniel Tice was inserted out of the starting lineup, that's when Garrison Matthews finally got an opportunity. In the games leading up to the Bulls game, which is where they really have, that's where they started their winning streak. This is like two, three weeks ago, it feels like. I don't even know if it feels like yesterday or four years ago. It's this rocket. What's going on with the rocks right now is crazy, and it is so exciting. But uh, 21 minutes against the Thunder, 15 minutes against the Knicks, 19 minutes against the Celtics. So keep in mind those were all losses. Those were all during the 15 game losing streak. You still had Jalen Green, healthy Jalen Green starting, and you still had Daniel Tice not only starting but in the rotation. And then once Jalen Green goes down and they knock out uh, Daniel Tice. Look, 28, 38, 32, 36, 32, 31, 39. And the best part is in even the nights Garrison Matthews isn't necessarily shooting lights out, he's still providing defensive impact. I mean, last night, 5 of 13, 3 of 11 from downtown, it still gave you 19 points, 3 steals, and a block. So it's like 3 of 11 is perfectly fine if you're going to be playing like that maybe not perfect maybe i don't mean maybe that's the wrong choice of words but you get what i'm saying like if that's an off night for you three of 11 from downtown and you're still giving me 19 points but you're also still giving me three steals and a block 
How is this man on a two-way contract? Like Boston, Boston fumbled the bag. Washington fumbled the bag. What's up with all these teams fumbling the bag? Because Garrison Matthews, not only can he shoot at a consistent level, might I add, 40% from downtown, he can play defense. Last night, this was like, I can't remember who tweeted it, you know, some Rocket um, uh, analysis or whoever, reporter, whoever it was, tweeted last night that apparently Jay Sean Tate, uh, when James Harden got subbed in the game, Jay Sean Tate was going to guard him and he had five fouls. You know, he picked up a couple early fouls and was dealing with foul trouble. And Garrison Matthews said, look, yo, look, I got this. And James Arden, had he not had 14 free throws, only would have only finished with 11 points. I think he had four field goals, three of 11 from downtown, something, or three of 12 from downtown, something bad. So Garrison Matthews defensively, this is a guy who one month ago, even half of the Rockets fans didn't even know who this guy was. Nobody on, like almost nobody really cared about Garrison Matthews' impact on the Rockets because he wasn't really getting opportunities. And when he was playing, like, I mean, in the games prior to his starting, he went 2-6, of 3-8, and 1-6. of six. So it was really inconsistent. But if you're a Rockets fan, if you're a Rockets fan and you're watching these games, you, you could notice, like, right out of the gate, like, he's playing with heart. He's playing with hustle. Uh, he's almost like... Like, I don't know, I highly doubt there's any Bulls fans watching this right now, but like, he's like a Javante Green where Bulls fans really like Javante Green. They love his heart, they love his hustle, but like, non Bulls fans probably see Javante Green's stats and they're like, I don't really know what he's offering you guys. Why is he getting minutes? That's probably what like a casual fan would have thought of Garrison Matthews prior to this winning streak. And he's proven, I mean, I mean the best part to me about Garrison Matthews is. Now, he's extremely versatile in multiple facets of his game, but he's also 25 years old. So he's not too old. Like, it's not like he's 30 years old. It's not like he's 31, 32, like he's Joe Ingles, where it's like, um, yeah, he's cool and all, but like, does he really fit the future of this team? He's 25, and that's perfect age because you've had some years to progress. You've had some years to go through hardships. I mean, Garrison Matthews gone through a crazy NBA journey and he's been cut through several teams so he's had countless years of experience of practice of hard work like just learning himself and figuring out what it need what he needs to do to get to that next level and, and to do that and so it's just so great to see like not only all of his hard work paying off but like it's I would compare I compare him to like a Jay Sean Tate of last year. Like he's our Jay Sean Tate. That's my prediction is I think he'll be kind of like our Jay Sean Tate where we'll we started the season with Jay Sean last year where it was like, uh, you know, who's this like he's maybe Jay Sean was a little bit different, but it was because he was a rookie, but Jay when you first got Jay Sean was like, all right, he can't really shoot at all, but he's he's pretty intriguing. He played four years of college, two years overseas. Um you know, he might be a hidden gem, right? He might be a hidden gem. We'll see. And then he comes out right away and is providing impact. That's exactly what Garrison Matthews is doing. And now after last season and, you know, right now and in the future, us as Rockets fans, we're thinking and Raphael Stone's thinking like, Jay Sean Tate's a future of this team. Like he's, a, he's a piece of our future. That's what I think is going to happen with Garrison Matthews when it's all said and done and this season's over. So, you know, offensively, defensively, just hustle, heart, intensity like everything good teammate great teammate great worker hard worker like garrison matthews has it all and i'm rooting for him and i know all of us rockets fans are rooting for him and it looks like pretty much the whole nba who is aware of garrison is rooting for him so love to see it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video probably post a couple tomorrow and uh, yeah that's it for today i'll see you guys later peace